And we will now resume, and I'll remind members again that if the amendment in the name of Jeremy Balfour is agreed to, then the amendment in the name of Paul O'Kane will fall. The uh, question is that Amendment 12079.2 in the name of Jeremy Balfour, uh, which seeks to amend Motion 12079 in the name of Shirley Ann Somerville, be agreed, and members should cast their votes now. And the vote is now closed. And the result of the vote on amendment number 12079.2 in the name of Jeremy Balfour is yes, 30, no, 85. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 12079.1 in the name of Paula Kane, which seeks to amend uh, motion 12079 in the name of Shirley Ann. Some of will be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. Parliament is not agreed. There will be a division and members should cast their votes now. And the vote is now closed. Point of order, Emma Harper. Thank you, President Officer. It says my screen that didn't vote, but I attempted to vote. I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms Harper. I'll make sure that's recorded. And the result of the vote on amendment number 12079.1 in the name of Paul O'Kane is yes, 18, no, 94. There were three abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 12079 in the name of Shirley Ann Somerville uh, on delivering record social security investment in Scotland to tackle the cost of living crisis and inequality be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. Parliament is not agreed. There will be a division and members should cast their votes now.
and the vote is closed. And the result of the vote on motion 12079 in the name of Shirley Ann Somerville is yes 62, no 51. There were no abstentions. Uh, the motion is therefore agreed. And the final question is that motion 12087 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on committee meeting time be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. That is agreed. And that concludes division, uh, decision time. There will be a brief pause before we move on to members' business. Members leaving the chamber should do so as quickly and as quietly as possible.